The seal is very tightly held inside the hub carrier. Now this can cause some problems. Um, it's quite a small carrier and it's difficult to get any good purchase on it so you're really going to need a vise here and if you do have a specialist seal puller uh, you can use that. An alternative method is to use a pin punch and actually push down or even hammer down through the top washer. So we'll give that a go and we've got a vise on the floor here to show you how to go about it. Well, as with most jobs that include a seal or a bearing uh, race, anything like that, we want to go around circular, in a circular fashion. So just gentle taps and try not to damage this washer too much, although hopefully you've bought the parts from Just Campers and you will have this last wa large washer in your kit. And you might just be able to angle things so that you're contacting the rubber as well. And it's just a case of being patient. If the washer slips down and moves over, you can go over. Slide the washer back into place and keep going. And once it's moving, it shouldn't be too bad a job. And it will actually come out quite cleanly. And you can see this one's actually in quite good condition, but I suspect what's happened is somebody's done the job and not cleaned the carrier up correctly in the first place, as well as, of course, the uh, main seal, which we saw was broken when we took the carrier off. So it's another part that we need to give a very good clean to, make sure all the gunk's out, and pay particular attention to this little drain hole down here. Um, we'll clean it out with a small bladed uh, screwdriver. It actually goes up through the body there. Um, I was using goggles, of course, while we were doing this, and if you're going to use brake cleaner, don't forget your goggles on and also your face mask. So we want this absolutely thoroughly clean. Squirt up the hole there to loosen off, and you do get some really quite nasty stucking gunge in these little drain holes. I've got a smaller pin punch here, but you could use a nail, a very small screwdriver, whatever. And uh, well, we can see a big, big lump coming out. So just take your time and make sure that's perfectly clean and clear through there. Once everything's nice and clean and then dried off again, you need to inspect this surface here to make sure there are no scores there. Now, hopefully you haven't slipped and damaged this surface, but that's not to say the person before might not have done. If you do find a score there, then it's time to pick up a piece of emery paper, emery cloth, and just literally rub it as smooth as you can there. And the other thing to double check, this surface going all the way around is very prone to having old bits of paper gasket on. If that's the case, again use some solvent and uh, just literally peel it off very gently. And again, if somebody else has done that and scored it up, make sure that's nice and perfectly flat there. Okay, now we can look at reinstalling the seal. So we're ready to replace the uh, new hub oil seal. A thing to bear in mind first is there is actually a lump on the surface of the hub carrier here. And uh, if you were just to put it down on your flat surface, when we try and press the bearing in, everything's going to move around. So put it to the edge of your, your vise, your bench, or maybe a block of wood if you're working off the floor. And you must remember to put the, uh, the outer washer in. Now we've got the one we took out, which to be honest is perfectly serviceable, but we do have the brand new one in the kit. So we put that in first, and then we need to prepare the hub oil, it, oil seal itself, and that's quite simply done with normal general purpose grease. And uh, you just give that a good coating all the way around. It does two things. It helps with the process of slipping the new seal into place. And of course, helps it do its job, that is seal. And the next bit you're gonna love, we don't really need a special drift or anything like that for this job. Remember once the grease is on there that it's going to be prone to picking up all sorts of dust. You want to try and just ease that in a little way. Give your hands a quick clean off and then we can reuse another tool. The 46 mil socket. Now this is the one that you use for the rear hub nuts on your bay window camper. If you're a beetle user, yours will only be a 36 mil socket, so uh, you might have to look at an alternative method. But anyway, what we're looking to do, again, going around in a circular motion, ever so gently, we're just looking to ease it down. 
So a little bit of patience and being gentle where this job is the way. And there is actually a recess that this will go down to, so you will feel it naturally go down. If it's the first time you've done the job, part way down, you can just put your tools down, lift it up and just double check. So you just move the washer over and look down and we've still got a couple of mil to go in here. So we remember to put the lump off the end of the working surface. Position the socket and just tap away till it goes home. And you can actually hear the note changes there when it's gone all the way home. Once you're confident that you've gone all the way home, just check all the way around. Keep moving the washer so that you can see where the seal is and its landing point on there. And just confirm that it's absolutely gone home all the way around. And a quick eyeball on this surface here to make sure that it's evenly spaced the whole way round. And then just give it a quick wipe just to make sure that where the grease is you've not picked up any extra bits of grit or dust. And then we're ready to put the new gaskets up on and bolt this piece back into position. Mm -hmm.